Hey, this is Leo, and these are all the new features and improvements in Ableset version 2.4. Let's get started with the first feature, which you might notice when you start Ableset for the first time. So let's open the app here. And currently, life is not running, but um, once you start Ableset, it automatically launches live with the last project file that you had opened. You can enable or disable this feature in the settings. One of the biggest new features in Ableset version 2.4 is support for images and lyrics. And to show you this, I'll just uh, jump to a song where I've already implemented some images. I'll open Ableset and go to the lyrics page. For the first example, I'll show you what it looks like when you embed an image as a line in lyrics. And to do this, I've created a lyrics folder in my project folder. I've added a subfolder for the song, which is along the way in this case. I've just uh, abbreviated it. And then I've added some PNG image files here. Now, to add one of these images to your lyrics, you can just create a MIDI clip, and then in square brackets you can add img colon, and then the path of your image. So in this case, it's atw slash atw1.png. And what that looks like in the lyrics is something like this. Let me just jump here and maybe make the window a bit bigger. Um, and here you see these two images that I've embedded. You can also make images take up the entire height of the page, which is helpful if you're trying to display sheet music, for example. So I've added some base tabs here for the song. And to make the images take up the entire height of the screen, you can just add in square brackets full. And now if I go to the base tabs lyrics track, you'll see the base tabs taking up the entire um, height of the page. Now, I know that taking a PDF with multiple pages, splitting those up into one image per page, and then adding all of these clips here can be a bit tedious. So I've created a little tool that allows you to convert a PDF into one of these lyrics tracks. This is what the tool looks like, and I will add a link to it in the description below. And what you can just do is take a PDF, drag it in here, and that automatically um, creates images, optimizes them, and then allows you to download this as a project. If you open this up, you'll find a project file. You'll find one image per page. And you'll find a folder with one clip per page. So to use this, what we can do now is drag this folder into our lyrics folder. Then uh, let's go to the song. And now we can drag one clip per page onto the song. So let's... Uh, Start here with page one. Let's do page two next and then page three at the end. Now let's go over to our browser, to the lyrics page, and there you go. By the way, you can add whatever other text you want before or after the image tag. So for example, my tool uses this um, to identify the page numbers. So, you know, if you're zoomed out a bit, uh, it's a bit easier to read which page uh, you're currently looking at. The next big feature is that the settings now live inside of the web app. So before, if you wanted to change some settings, you would have to go to the Ableset icon here, then click on the cogwheel here, and then you would have your settings here. Now this is all moved into the web app, so you can just go to settings, and now you have a page with all of your settings here. If you need some help regarding a setting, you can just click the help button and you'll get a little description of what each of these settings does. Of course, you can also access this page from any other device on your network. So for example, if you want to toggle the count-in feature and you're not currently at your computer, you can now also use your phone or tablet to do that. The next new feature is native MIDI mapping. So before the current version of Ableset, you were already able to map a MIDI controller to some of the playback controls using the Max for Live device. But this required either Live Standard with the Max for Live extension or Live Suite, which can both be quite expensive. Now with Ableset 2.4, you can just do this in Ableset itself. So to get started, we'll go to the settings page and then click on edit MIDI mapping. Here you will see a list of connected devices and devices that I've already MIDI mapped. For demonstration purposes, I've connected my MC6 Pro here. And to map those buttons to Ableset, let's just click this Add New MIDI Mapping button here. Now it's waiting for MIDI input and I can just uh, press a button here and that will automatically capture the MIDI node. You can now select which command it should be mapped to. So in our case, this was the button for the previous song. Let's add one for the next song. We have a play pause one here. And if you like, you can also adjust the channel 
and the node that this mapping is related to. Now for this button here, stop and next, we want Ableset to execute two commands after each other. And to do that, we can make use of custom commands. So let's add a MIDI mapping for this button here. And let's put this to custom OSC. I will link the OSC docs in the description below so you can see all the commands that are available. But um, to stop a song, we can use the global slash stop command. Then we can use a semicolon to separate it from the next command. And then to jump to the next song, we can use slash setlist slash jump by songs one. Let's try this out. First, let's see if the play pause works. That seems to work. Let's uh, go to the setlist view here and let's jump between a few songs. That seems to work as well. And now let's try out the stop and next button. So let's go to a song here, uh, start playback, and then press the stop and next. And you'll see that playback stops and Ableset jumps to the next song in the setlist. And speaking of the setlist, Ableset now supports tags in song names. So uh, that's something you can see here. For example, I have the hashtag the ground beneath our feet or uh, TGBOF or uh, I have a hashtag crossings here, which are uh, the albums or EPs of our band. You won't see them directly in the setlist, but if we go to the setlist editor, let's just uh, remove all of the songs and click on add a song. I can now search for the crossings tag and add all the songs that contain this. The same could also work with the other one. So the ground beneath our feet. And there we go. This will make it a lot easier for you to quickly build set lists if you uh, want to categorize your songs into, for example, fast songs, slow songs, or albums as I did it here. So let's save this and go to the performance view. And you'll see that the hashtag is displayed here as well. If you don't like that, you can just turn it off. And there you go. Of course, you're not limited to one tag per song. You can also give a song three tags or uh, whatever you want. Now, while we are in the performance view, I want to show you three new little features that might be helpful. The first one is that you can now jump to any section just by clicking on it in the progress bar. So for example, if I want to jump to the second verse, I can do that here or uh, to the first verse or the chorus. And if you hover over the progress bar, you'll also see little tooltips showing you what each section is. Next, you can now enable a progress bar that only shows the progress of the current section. Uh, let me just start playback here. And you'll see that this progress bar now shows you um, just the progress of the first verse. Let me jump to the end of the chorus here. And now as soon as the chorus uh, ends, the progress bar will show the progress of the second verse. And there you go. And last, if you're jumping to a section or a song while life is playing, you will now see that uh, displayed in the performance view as well. So let's jump to the chorus here. And you'll see that now the chorus is displayed here and it's flashing because that's the cued section. And you'll also see that gone slash chorus will be played after this section. And uh, that should happen now. And there you go. Now let's go to the bridge here, start playback and use our MIDI controller to jump to another song. And you'll see that the song title is now uh, displayed here. And it will tell you that after this section, Ableset will jump to Hard to Know in this case. Or if we pause playback, Ableset jumps there as well. There's a bunch of more improvements and fixes in this version. So if you want to see a list of all changes, feel free to check out the link in the description below. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments and I wish you a great day.